St Andrews. Welcome back to Monday. I hope everybody's feeling well this morning. OK, Reach Assembly. Our first thing we're going to do just before we start Reach Assembly is we're going to talk about the phrase of the week this week. We used to put this at the beginning of our Monday assemblies before, but obviously um, haven't done for the last couple of weeks. Now, there is a little issue with this because the very lovely Krukum Rig recorded it for me. However, unfortunately, the recording hasn't come through on the PowerPoint, so I'm going to go with it today and hopefully ha we'll have a little bit more time just to sort out those technical issues and get Krukum Rig um, say in the phrase of the week from next week on. So this week's phrase of the week is my vlean de v. My vlean de v. Can everybody say that? My vlean de v. My vlean de v. OK, and that means I'm sorry. And I'm sure Crook and Rag will be around and about listening out for those of you using that phrase this week. OK, brilliant. Right, so today we're going to have a little think about playtimes and happy playtimes in um, school and how we're going to show remember our theme this week is respect and we're just going to have a little think about how we can respect at playtimes okay so playtime is actually your time it is time for you to have fun with friends and time to be really active and particularly now we're outside quite a lot more obviously because of the situation. Unfortunately, we can't cross zones at the moment. So I am going to talk about the different zones today, but we can't cross bubbles, so we can't cross zones. However, Mrs. Giles's amazing timetabling has ensured that everybody does get opportunities to use each zone over a six week period. OK, so everybody does get a chance to use all the zones. So we'll have a little look at those zones in a second. Our zones are quite big areas and there's a lots of really exciting equipment in them. If you're on the Astro in the middle field, the middle of the field, there are games and equipment that's kept in the box. Now, they're the things that I know I've talked to lots of classes about that we need to think about how we're using them and using them carefully. Space hoppers are not for kicking and using as footballs they are for bouncing okay and there are several other different activities in that box um, for example the catching balls and the balance buckets and bits and pieces like that all of which need to be treated with respect and used carefully lots of money has been spent on this equipment if it isn't treated with respect and used it will get broken and unfortunately, we can't keep replacing it over and over and over because we just don't have the money to do that. So just think carefully when you're using that equipment. OK, these are our main zones. Then we've got the mugger area where we can play ball games and we've got baskets there now as well. And um, there's the gazebo, which currently is only being used for first aid as we're trying to avoid crossing bubbles and we can spread children out in there. The large play equipment, so the slides and the bits and pieces there, the um, climbing, climbing bars and things in that area. The timber trail on the Astro, and the Astro is the area where you would use the other play equipment that I was just talking about. And there are the pathway areas, which currently are acting as like a barrier. So we're not going on to the pathway areas because they are the barrier in between the two classes. OK, so we're staying off those and in our zones at the moment. So we want our play times to be the best times. And so let's have a little think about how we can do that. What can we do to make our play times the best times? OK, thank you for all your answers. If you've had a good discussion around that. We've got three very simple rules to follow at play, play times. Number one, show respect for others. OK, number two, 
show care for our equipment, which I have talked a little bit about. And number three, know the zone. OK, even though we're not crossing zones at the moment, what can you do in each zone? I'd like you to pause me now and have a really good talk in your class about each of those things and what you think as a class is important to remember and to show how to show respect and care. OK, rule one, showing respect for others. That means everybody. That means all your friends, all the teachers and any other staff that happen to be on the playground. We have got extra staff at the moment that are helping us to keep you safe, OK, because you're separate and we need more people. And they don't know our school very well and we want to show them the best we can show them. So by, show, by being respectful towards them, that means listening to everything they ask you to do, following instructions, keeping safe and speaking nicely to people. OK, showing respect for your friends by using kind hands, sharing equipment and making sure that you're thinking about how other people are feeling. So if you can see somebody that's not quite happy or not involved, that's a good time for you to support them by either inviting them to be involved or um, including them in your games. Rule two, caring for our equipment. The large storage box is only to be opened by teaching staff or staff that are covering the playground because, and I'll tell you, there is a very good reason why for this because the lid on the large box often drops down and if you've got your head in there it hurts quite a bit okay so so please do not go into the very big large storage box box the equipment that's put outside in labeled boxes um there's a great big black box at the moment i expect at the end of lunch time for all that equipment to be put away now currently each class that's playing with that puts it away at the end of that playtime, OK? You can choose within your class, if you like, monitors to do that. That's absolutely fine. Um, or it, it could just be a different person each day. I don't mind. But all that equipment needs to go back in the box so that an adult can then safely return it to the large storage box. Just to be aware then to know which zone you're in and to know which rules are there on each area. Just a reminder, because I have seen this quite a bit recently, that lovely green, the lovely green slides are amazing to play with, but accidents can act easily happen there. So you do need to make sure that you're going down it, not up it. And you need to be sure that you're going down it one at a time. So please make sure the bottom has cleared before the next person goes down. I know it's lots of fun, sliding down together, but people do get hurt when that happens. So please be careful with that. The astro area in the middle where we've got lots of equipment for, please don't play football in that area. The reason being there's a lot of children there um, and you could get knocked over or you could, if you're running to kick a football, often you don't see the people around you. So again, it's because it's a bit of a safety issue. So we want to keep you safe there. You can use a rugby ball and there is a, a sponge rugby ball there. However, it is only for throwing and catching. OK, we're not playing full games of rugby on there because, again, that's not a safe place to do so. So we want St Andrew's playtimes to be the best time. We want them to be the time where you can really have fun and really um, enjoy yourselves and socialise with your friends and have a good break from being in the classroom. And the way we can do that is by following our three rules. We're just going to give you a little reminder now of our respect chant. And the school council and I have discussed this in detail and they'd like quite like a different respect chant, which is absolutely fine. Um, Mrs. Harrod will probably introduce that coming in after Christmas now, OK? But I'm going to have a look at it with school council for those of you who've got a little bit fed up with this one and 
would like to hear a different one. OK. Hopefully you'll be, be able to see this. And just let me check the sound a second. Because this can be, yeah, there we go. OK, hopefully you'll be able to hear this now. Hello, youngsters. I've got some stories for you, and they all have to do with one word, respect. Well, I was on the playground, and what did I see? Another kid who wanted to use the same monkey bars as me. I wanted to go first, but I said no. You. Yes, I know respect is the thing to do. R E S P E C T. I always treat my friends like I hope they treat me. R E S P E C T. Treating everybody respectfully. Well, I walked down the hallway, and what did I see? A teacher with quiet students in the classroom next to me. I wanted to be noisy, I had something to say. But I stayed nice and quiet, the respectful way. R-E-S-P-E-C-T I always treat my friends like I hope they treat me. R-E-S-P-E-C-T Treating everybody respectfully. Well, I was doing a puzzle, and what did I see? A kid forgot to clean up. Did the teacher even see? I thought that I'd just leave it there, as messy as could be. But then I thought, clean it up. Respect, you see? R-E-S-P-E-C-T I always treat my friends like I hope they treat me. R-E-S-P-E-C-T Treating everybody respectfully. Last story. Well, I was with my friends, and what did I see? Someone making fun of kids, being a big bully. Now I could have joined in too, and been really, really mean. But instead I was extremely nice, respectfully. R-E-S-P-E-C-T I always treat my friends like I hope they treat me. R-E-S-P-E-C-T Treating everybody respectfully. OK, I'd like you to have a little reflection now on today's assembly and have a little think about um, what you're going to do over the next few weeks to make our assemblies a, our playtime, sorry, a, a good time in our school, an enjoyable time. Let's say our prayer together, Gwethion. Diolch i ti am I bid, diolch am ein ffrindiau i gyd. Amen. Thank you very much for listening today. Um, hope you have a very good rest of the week and I'm looking forward to seeing you around the school. Um, that's it from me. Dabochi!